dudes and dudettes. First drum groove, I always teach people when we're learning how to play drums. Hi-hats are gonna be eighth notes. They run basically on autopilot. Eighth notes are counted as one and two and three and four and. Now, going back to the video on counting, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Each beat gets a drum for the most part. Now remember, hi-hats, kind of autopilot, going eighth notes the whole time. And the kick drum is gonna get beats one and beat three, snare drum two and beat four. So if we were to break it down just by kick and snare, one, two, three, This is the hard part. One and three and three and one and one, right? So the coordination part is gonna be the toughest part, but there's a couple ways to kind of get through it. What I like to do is go like this. One and two and three and four and, or one and two and three and four. Or, once we have that all locked in, or I should say, once we have a better idea of what our hands and our feet are doing, we can bring it all together. But what I like to do when I'm showing someone to get them over the coordination part is I would just ask them to go one and two. And all we're missing is those two little ands. One and two and three and four and. So if we can kind of bring these two together. One and two, three and four. One and two and three and four and. That coordination part is the hardest part, of course. But once you get that it's kind of all smooth sailing from there. I say that loosely, of course, but you know, there's gonna be some things that trip you up along the way. However, getting this coordination down, realizing what all four of your limbs are doing, and yes, this left leg slash foot is doing something, it's keeping the hi-hat closed, right? Otherwise, right? And there's a bit of a butt balance when you're sitting on your chair too that maybe you notice or not notice that you may kind of want to lean a little bit more on the right cheek. You may want to lean a little bit more on the left cheek. For example, when I'm showing everybody how to play this, I kind of tell them to lean in so they can get a good kick, right? Oh, also too, I'll do another video on this, but I like to play with my heel up on the bass drum. And there's other ways to do it. You can play heel down, but when we get into more more beats and patterns and stuff on the kick, I think playing heel up is the best way to do it. So, going back to the butt balance. One and two and three and four and one. That's kind of how I like to show people how to do it. It's a weird thing learning how to play this first groove as a drummer because you're, you're basically doing things with all four of your limbs in a different manner slash rhythm or whatever and it can make your brain explode so what I say is just be patient go slow and one of the songs I like to recommend people is Back in Black by ACDC um, there's a little drum fill in there that kind of goes we can learn that later but for the most part, the groove is Also too, for you left-handed people out there, like myself, who play this way, same rules apply. 
Kick drum on one still, snare drum on two, hi-hats, autopilot, running eighth notes. But, you know, we're just hitting a different way now, where our right hand is the, is the snare hand. One and two, three and four, bringing it all together. One and two and three and four and one. That's the first groove I typically show people when we do lessons. If you have questions or concerns, I'll leave my info in the description below. Um, I give lessons in the Austin, Texas area, if you want to contact me. Um, I give lessons online as well. And yeah, go out there and play some freaking drums. Later.